Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today I'm going to show you how to thicken up a lotion or conditioner. And I'm also going to show you how to thin down a lotion, conditioner, or cream if you need to. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fix your products if you have something like this, which is uh, lovely for a cream, but if you want more of a lotion consistency, you can see that's pretty thick. So I'm going to show you how to thin that down properly. And if you have a lotion, let's say like this, that's just too thin and you'd like to thicken it up, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's start with our product that's too thick. So the easiest way to thin this down is to add water. Now you don't want to just add tap water, that's not the way to do it. Um, I think a lovely way to thin the product down would be to add um, a hydrosol, such as our rose hydrosol or our orange blossom, um, distillate hydrosol, they're interchangeable names, so um, you can add those and those are already preserved with delta gluconolactone, which is a very uh, natural preservative. Um, so you can add those directly and not have to worry about adding additional preservative, which is why you don't want to just add water. So what I have here is deionized water preserved with 1% phenoxyethanol and 1.5% tetrasodium glutamate diacetate, which you can find both of those on our website or by clicking uh, the more button below this video and finding the link. So let's get started. So once you have your deionized water preserved, you simply need a high shear blender and you wanna turn that up to high. Um, if you're having difficulty with this, it, you can always heat the product, never heat it above 130, um, 135 maximum. Um, don't go beyond that. If you do, you risk breaking the emulsion entirely and then you have a whole different problem. So. Um, let's just get started. You simply want to, of course, sanitize your equipment and um, simply turn on your mixer, turn it on high, and start mixing. You can see it's not doing much there, and you start adding your water. Good. Start mixing some of this in here. It's really thick. see how easily that thinned down and um, you can of course if you want to be able to recreate this or if you have something that's thicker and you need to adjust your formula you can do that make sure you take notes take measurements of everything that you're using so um, it's that easy to thin down your product you can see that it's um, uh, it's very easy now if you thin it too much you may have separation issues as well. So it's best to experiment with a small amount and get it to exactly where you need it to be without um, ruining your emulsion. So that's the first one. I'm going to just move over to this. I'm not gonna clean my blender because I know that I'm just going over to um, a similar product. Okay, so we'll get those out of the way. And now let's do the opposite. Now we have a lotion that's just too thin. We want to thicken it up a bit. And the easiest way to do that is by adding xanthan gum. So what I've done is I've weighed out my xanthan gum by putting my little ramekin on the scale, tearing out my scale, and then measuring out the xanthan gum. So what I'm going to do, I've also weighed out my lotion. I know I have a pound of lotion here. So I'm going to simply add the xanthan gum slowly, and then I'm going to go back to my scale, and I'm going to weigh what's left of the xanthan gum. And that way I know how much I've used to thicken this lotion. So another side note before we go too far, if there was another gum used in your product, you can certainly use a different gum to thicken your product. Uh, xanthan gum is the easiest to work in. That's why I chose xanthan. So... Um, we're just going to turn on our blender again and slowly sprinkle in the xanthan gum. Um, if you dump it in, you're going to have just a big gooey glump of, of stuff and it's not going to be very pleasant. So you have to slowly sprinkle it. Now 
Now, of course, the more you add, the thicker this is going to be. Um, I would add a little bit at a time and make sure that it doesn't thicken up too much because then you're just running into the problem of adding water, adding xanthan, adding water, and adding xanthan. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. I kind of like the consistency of where this is. It's thicker than it was, but it's just not quite thick enough yet. <laughs> I can start to feel this already. It's much thicker. I can feel it with my stick blender. It's not mixing quite as fast as it was before. So I think that's just about at the right consistency. You can see it's not sloshing around like it was, and it's not just dripping off of my blender like it was before. So it's, you can see it's pretty easy to uh, thicken or thin your products. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really take a lot of, of effort. Um, I just highly recommend that you record everything that you use and record your results. And there you go. So you can find links to both deionized water, uh, hydrosols, and also xanthan gum in the description of this video by clicking the more button directly below. We hope this was helpful and instructional for you. Uh, uh, subscribe to our channel for more instructional great videos. Thanks for joining us.